So before we do anything, we're going to go into settings and we are going to create our legal pages. So click on settings down here and right at the bottom right hand corner, there's a legal tab. So this is where you enter your refund policy, privacy policy, terms of service and shipping policy. Now, instead of writing all this out, there's a very easy way to do this and that's just to hit create template. Once you create this template, here's a return policy, a default return policy you can use in your store. And so there's a few things you wanna watch out for. Um, if, like I said at the beginning, if you entered your home address as uh, your business address, uh, I wouldn't recommend having your home address visible for people to see on just these pages. Instead, if you want somebody retur to return something to your store, um, just have them email you and then from there you can work out what you want to do whether you want them to send the product back then you can privately in an email send them your home address or a PO box and uh, just leave it at that so right here it says and send your item so I would just delete anything here that has your home address and just leave your business email here so again here's your home address you gotta get rid of that and so that one's good privacy policy create template make sure your home address is not in here oh also this one has places where you can insert different things uh, so this one's like if you use different types of tracking technology aside from just the basic ones uh, i don't so i would just recommend deleting anything that's all big like this because uh, you probably won't be adding I mean, make sure you won't be, but you probably won't be adding anything so private like this. Okay, so delete all these. There's a big thing here, I could delete that. And just go through this, clean it up, make sure it looks nice. Uh, make sure too that you know, you're know you okay with all this information as well. Um, I just use it, it's default information. Uh, you know, just your generic stuff. Uh, if you're doing something really specific, maybe you want to add a few things in here. But for the most part, this default one, if you're just starting your store, um, I'm not even going to worry about miners. Uh, I'm not going to sell anything. That's, you know, a problem. And uh, that's that. Next one, terms of service. Again, create template. And I think this one has your home address in it a few times. So you may want to delete it. If you have a business address, go ahead and leave it in there. It's not a big deal. Um, so let's see. Nope. Okay. I didn't see it. So the shipping policy, I would just leave blank for now. Normally what you're gonna do though, if you're doing drop shipping or a print on demand store, is you're more or less just gonna copy and paste your vendor's shipping policy. So we'll go into this in the future, but right now I'm just gonna leave it blank. But we're not actually done here with the legal pages. Uh, these pages actually only show up at checkout. So people can only click on these links to see your policies at checkout. And it's a good idea to have them at the bottom of your store, so in your footer. So when you scroll down and see your web page, you see them at the bottom of the store. How I do that is you're going to go ahead. I'm going to actually uh, duplicate this tab here. Just open it in another tab. Uh, because I want one of these tabs, go, go ahead and click on online store here, and it'll open up a drop down menu and click on pages. So this is where you can create pages for your store. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a page, top right corner, add page, and then we're gonna add a page refund policy. And I'm just gonna copy and paste this information in here. So once you have this all filled out, uh, Command A, well, uh, Control A if you're on Windows will select everything and control C or command C if you're on Mac, uh, will copy everything. So you're just gonna copy and paste all of this information in here. Once it's done, you just hit save. You have that page. 
Then I'm <clears throat> going to go back, add a new page, and we're going to do the same thing for all of these pages. And then I'm going to go ahead and make one for shipping policy. Um, and then when you know it, you could just copy and paste your policy. But I'm just going to make the page. That way I could link it properly. OK, so next thing you're going to do here is you're going to go to Navigation right below Pages over here in the Sales Channel. Click Navigation. And this is your footer menu. You're going to click on Footer Menu. And I'm just going to add menu items here. Click here on Links. Go to Pages. And these it should show you all the pages you just created. So I'm going to go ahead and click Privacy Policy. Click Add. Add menu item. Go to Link. Go to Pages refund policy next, add. You can put these in whatever order you want, but you're just adding these pages to a menu right now. And just do it for all the pages you just created. And then what you could do here is actually reorder them any way you want by grabbing these um, dots. And you could actually put them inside each other as well. So if you pull them kind of out like this, you can make them into submenus, but we're not going to worry about any of that. Uh, in fact, this default search one, I'm just going to delete. And that seems like a good order, so I'm just going to hit save. And in order to view this on your site, uh, you can view how your site looks anytime by just clicking this eyeball next to your online store. So if we click on this, it'll open a new tab and it'll show you exactly what your store looks like. So right now we haven't added anything to it. It literally just has our default, uh, our default name. It has all the default stuff. But what you just did, if you scroll down to the bottom here, none of this stuff is filled out yet, but if you scroll down to the bottom here, in your footer menu, you now have all the pages you just created. So if we click on these and look at them, you can see that people can just read your terms and conditions now, your privacy policy, refund policy, and your shipping policy once you have one. So that's it for the legal pages.